Hey guys, so uh, before I start the video, I do want to say that I apologize for any weird sounding voices or breaths or something um, along those lines. I just recorded the video about an hour ago, and it took me about an hour or two to record it completely, and then none of the audio got captured, so I had to re-record it, and it took me about another two hours, so I was talking talking for about four hours straight. Um, so sorry if you hear any sort of dry throat or gasping for air or drinking water um, in the middle of cuts. Um, that's why. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys? So today I'm going to be bringing you guys another flak build. Um, this time it's from Mayhemton. And let me tell you, this build absolutely destroys Mayhemton. Anyways, um, we'll just get right into it. I'm going to start with the skill tree, then we go into the gear, and then I always have, or I, I'm trying a new thing where I'm putting an in-depth part of the build into um, all my builds, so if you want a in-depth look into the build, stick around for that. And yeah, and then after the in-depth part, we'll be testing. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah, here's my green lightning flak. Hey guys, so I'm not sure if I just mentioned it in the intro or not. Um, I didn't script this one like I scripted my last ones. Anyways, um, this build is called Green Lightning Flak, and that will become apparent when we get into the gear. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and blaze through this uh, skill tree really fast. Um, for you, for those guys who like fast skill trees and easy ones that just like copy and paste, here it is. For those that like be oh, excuse me, for those who like going in depth in depth into the builds, uh, that will be the next segment of the video. Anyways, we'll just burn through this, and yeah, here we go. Uh, 3 into Persistence Hunter, uh, 2 into Ferocity, 1 into He Bites, 5 into Frenzy, 5 into Who Rescued You, 5 into Barbaric Yop, 1 into Mutated Defenses, 1 into Shared Spirit, 3 into Pack Tactics. Going on to the Orange Skill Tree, Gonna go ahead and throw three into the leave no trace. Uh, go ahead and throw five into interplanetary stalker. Put four, or excuse me, not four. Put five into hunter's eye. Put excuse me. Um, put three into head count. I had a brain fart there. Sorry. Put three into big game. Put three into most dangerous game. Put one into galactic shadow. Put uh, five into Grim Harvest, and then put one into Mega War. For your um, augments, you're gonna go. And you're gonna want to throw on Gamma Burst, uh, imp imp Empathic Rage, and Endurance. Sorry again, I had another brain fart. <laughs> um, as for your pet, you can either go for the Spider and Scorcher, which I prefer doing, or um, Great Horn Scab. Anyways, so that's it for the build, and we're going to go ahead and go into the gear now. Um, here at the gear, we're just going to blow through this just like we did at the skill tree. And, um, yeah, for your anointments, you're going to want to have this anointment bes um, on every single gun uh, besides your yellow cake. Um, and, yeah, so this anointment on every single gun, and here we go. So you're going to want a reflex, or a reflex, excuse me, um, it's better to be redundant because it has more pellets, but they do have cash infused, which works just fine as well. Um, you're going to want a sandhawk. You're going to want to have it be corrosive um, because that's just how it just works better with the build. Um, it can be any element, but corrosive works the best. Um, for your third gun, you're going to want to have you're going to want to have any sort of weapon that can deal uh, self shock damage. The kilomatic is what I use and that's what I prefer and that's what I would recommend about any gun that can deal self shock damage will work just fine. Um, and now this is your boss killer, the yellow cake. Um, you're going to want to have this anointment on your yellow cake or this one, either way, um, they both work fine. But this one is insane for bossing and um, that's what I use it for. Onto the gear, you're going to want to use a transformer. Um, the transformer is needed for this build. Um, if you don't want the transformer, um, I'd recommend going to go look at other Game Burst builds, which there are. Um, but this is just how my build works. So you're going to want to have any transformer um, 
or all the transformers I should say depending on who you're fighting um, but in reality you really only need the shock transformer um, I'm talking about the anointments of course um, you really only don't really want the shock transformer but in case you're fighting grave or something it's good to have all of them anyways for your um, grenade you're gonna want to have a fish slap um, and the reason you have fish slap is because you're also using a cut purse and I'll explain that later in the in-depth part of the video and yeah um, I would recommend having a the same anointment as uh, like your action skill end and 50% bonus elemental damage but any any anointment really works um, you only really need the shock damage on your shield anyways fish slap grenade and now for your class mod cosmic stalker I would say for mobbing if you're not mobbing go ahead and throw on a bounty on her and yeah so for your artifact any deathless artifact really works but this is a what I'm running is a re ammo region build so you're gonna wanna have a cut purse deathless artifact um, of course I have multiple of them depending on how I'm feeling but I use the cut purse one anyways that is it for the gear and I'm gonna go ahead and go over my mayhem levels really quick um, Loot Explosion, I have that just because I like the loot. Uh, Healy Avenger, that doesn't really matter that much. Pool Party, I uh, believe it or not, that is a part of the build is having Pool Party because um, as you're destroying shields, which almost every single enemy has shield, um, you step inside of the shock puddles and that recharges your shield on your transformer. So you're basically invulnerable as long as um, you have Pool Party going. And then Buddy System. I actually don't like buddy system, but it's much better than death or everything else, so buddy system is what I use. Um, yeah, so that is it for the gear, and we'll go ahead and jump into the in-depth part of the build. If you really don't want to watch the in-depth part of the build, go ahead and skip to this time stamp, excuse me, go ahead and skip to this time stamp right on the screen right now, and um, yeah, that will be when we're testing. Um, and yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into the in-depth part of the build. So we're going to be starting off with the skill tree uh, and just explaining the variants and what you can do and why I chose certain things that I did. So yeah, uh, skill tree. We're going to go ahead and start with the uh, Gamma Burst skill tree. Gamma Burst, um, I use it just for fake bursting. Um, and that's basically just you look somewhere where you can't cast it and you can, um, you can see there, I have um, on my TDR, I have that anointment on actual skill, and it creates a cyber spike. So you can see it's a good example of what it can do. Every time you cast a, um, every time I cast Gamma Burst, it won't actually cast, and it'll just shoot out cyber spikes. And that's the same for every single on action skill and anointment. So on your um, transformer, on this, because it also activates. So um, you know, it activates all your action skill anointments. But yeah, so. That's why I use Gamma Burst. If you don't want to use Gamma Burst, you can use uh, Flax, or Rax, excuse me, but it does not, you can't spam it as good. As for your Augments, you don't use Burst Aid, and, uh, because for obvious reasons, you don't have any health, so you're not really regening anything. So you're going to use these, um, and yeah. So, going into the actual skill tree itself, Persistence, Persistence Hunter, quite obvious for um, for the damage. Um, now onto the Furiosity, uh, pet damage. The reason why I chose that is because with the pet damage you're dealing more damage, which uh, activates frenzy more. So the more damage you're dealing, the higher, the more frenzy you're getting. So just like the more pet damage that's being reflected by your pet, the more frenzy you're getting. Um, and that's why I chose that. That's why I prefer it over the critical hit. Um, who rescued who? I originally used it to move up the skill tree, but then I realized, oh, that is healing my pet and I was like okay well since it's healing my pet I will keep it on um, there um, so your pet's basically invincible while you are in a fight because you're constantly getting 5% of damage dealt and you're dealing millions and millions of damage so your pet's basically at full health all the time anyways barbaric yop that is just a buff uh, what your pet does so normally you have 1% health regeneration and then 10% elemental damage you can see how much more that helps. Um, so yeah, that's why I use Barbaric Yop. And then for these five right here, you don't have to have them, but 
I'll go over why I have them. This is to keep my pet alive. If you choose to not really care about your pet and don't really care, I would take that out, take this out, and this out, and even take as many as you can out of that as long as you're still getting um, endurance. So as long as you have enough um, skill points in the skill tree to get, unlock endurance and you really don't want to use your pet or you don't really don't want to utilize your pet to his best of his abilities, you can take out five in, from Who Rescued Who and take out these five and put them elsewhere. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I have pack tactics is because the 21 damage, that's all I use it for. I don't really care about the health because again, you don't have any health in this build. Um, and then you have mutated defenses and that's basically again just to keep your pet alive. And finally, shared spirit. And you might think like, oh, why would you use shared spirit? Because like you you don't have any health, so you're not like taking any damage or whatever. Um, the thing about this is when it says at low health, you portion of all damage taken is shared to your pet. So not just health damage; it's all damage taken. So since with your um, deathless artifact, you're always at low health. That means you're always constantly getting 50% of all your damage taken shared to your pet. So that's basically just a 50% damage reduction at all the, all the time, which is absolutely broken, and that's why I use that. Um, of course, if you're not going to spec into putting your making your pet powerful and survive more, you don't even need that because your pet will die just about instantly. Anyways, that's it for um, the Gamma Burst tree. We're going to go ahead and move on to the flat, or Rack tree now. Um, leave no trace. That's because obviously you're using high pellet weapons. You're getting um, ammo back a lot. Um, Interplanetary Stalker. Uh, I have two cl two points on it for my class mod. That is doing, mm, I think it's 42% extra damage um, alone, and you basically always have that up because you're always killing enemies. So you're basically always having a 42 damage buff or 42% damage buff, as well as the um, bonuses. Uh, Hunter's Eye strictly only use it because of the 50% uh, versus robots. That absolutely destroys with this build because if you can tell. Um, corrosive damage is the main point of the build. So if you're going against robots, you're absolutely destroying. Um, head count gets your, that's just to get your um, gamma burst back fast. I would say if you're bossing, go ahead and spec into two fang rather than um, uh, leave no trace because what that does is it's not going to be good with the sandhawk or the uh, reflux but it will be absolutely broken for the yellow cake because you're basically just adding another one third extra damage and if you're doing three million damage with just two bullets imagine how much you're doing with three bullets you know so that is if you're doing um, bossing go ahead and spec into two thing if you're not I'd stay out of it um, anyways big game better hunter skills, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, most dangerous game, much more damage, much more critical damage, just better in every way, and it lasts a, long, a very long time. Um, Galactic Shadow, uh, critical hit damage, it speaks for itself. Um, Grim Harvest, uh, again, action skill damage, um, that doesn't do too much, but it does a little bit, and um, gun damage, That that's basically the only reason is gun damage and pet damage for the frenzy, but gun damage definitely. And then Megavore with um, with the reflux, you're constantly doing um, you're constantly doing like chain damage, and that is insane with Megavore because most of those are going to be critical hits. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I put um, all my skill points into. You can move it up and move it around a bit. I would say if you're going to take the five out of this, take the five out of that, you have the extra ten skill. Uh, you have the extra 10 points, go ahead and throw 5 into there, and then I'd say go ahead and throw 5 into 2 fang, and then leave the rest the same, because you're basically already getting as much damage as you possibly can out of the rest of it. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it for the skill tree. We'll move on to the gear now. Um, the reflux. I chose this over the brainstormer, um, because with the radiation, you're already tearing apart shields and flesh, plus the 50% shock damage, you're tearing apart shields even more, so the only thing you're really weak against is um, armor, and with the reflux, now you're not. So, that's why I chose that. Uh, Sandhawk, any Sandhawk will do, th and the reason why I chose um, Corrosive, again, same reason why I have the reflux, you already have plenty of health and uh, shield damage, 
now all you have to do is rip through the armor, and that's what this corrosive does. Um, Sandhawk can be replaced by anything that does a lot of uh, single target damage, such as Maggie, or Hyper Focus, or the No Pew Pew, um, or the Lead Sprinkler even. Um, those are all good replacements for it, as long as it has this specific anointment on it. And yeah, so um, for the Kilomatic, I l only use it, and I'll show it off right now, I only use it because if I'm hurt, so let me go ahead and hurt myself. If I go ahead and hurt myself enough, without fail, I just throw it at the floor, I'm always back at, I'm back at full health because of the what it does is it does a large amount of shock damage, and because of the shock damage it refills my transformer infinite, it just gives me infinite, um, what's it called, infinite shield, and um, as well as the transformer it absorbs bullets, and that's the bullet uh, regeneration I'm talking about with the uh, cut purse and all the other things, but I'll show that off in a second. Um, so yeah, that's why I use that, but you can replace it with the lob or any sort of self-damaging um, shock weapon, but the lo for me the lob doesn't really cut it, so I'll show off the lob. You saw with the um, with the Kilomatic, it did it with one throw and it took less than a second. So if I go ahead and lower myself to the same amount, which is about 11k, so and we look down with the lob, you can see it takes two to three shots to um, completely refill your ammo. So it, in the end, it really doesn't matter what you use as long as you're able to refill your shield fast. Um, I do prefer the Kilomatic though. Um, but that is just me, you can use whatever. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it for the gear. Let me go ahead and explain my shield and grenade and uh, why I actually use the Deathless. Uh, where is my Sandhawk? There it is. So, um, if you guys don't know, the Fish Slap is a melee, melee um, grenade. So with the Cut Purse, you are getting ammo back whenever you do a melee damage, so if you are running low on ammo, say, here we go, so let me just wait for it. Oh no, I am I lost some ammo. I need some ammo back. Let me just go ahead and uh, throw, my, throw this, and I'm back at full ammo. So, it's easy as that. Any, and it works on every single weapon. So I am low ammo on my reflux. Go ahead and just toss one. Back at full ammo. So that's why I use that, it, as well as that, um, if I'm hurt, I just throw it at the ground. Well, that doesn't make it a very good show, but yeah. Um, that's why I use the fish left grenade. And also the deathless part, that's because you want to be below 50 health to get that uh, 150 radiation damage all the time. Um, that's a big part of the build, so you it's much better than having the having the Gamma Burst um, one, because one, you have much more damage, and then two, you don't even have to have Gamma Burst active, you can just have it all the time, and then you can use Gamma Burst for just exclusively for fake bursting to activate your um, action skill anointments, which is just absolutely broken. So that's why you want that. In the end, it does a lot more damage than Gamma Burst ever has, and, or ever will, unless they buff it. Um, and that's the only way I can see that this build gets replaced by Gamma Burst ever again. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it for the um, in-depth part of the build. Uh, I will go ahead and show off the this again. Um, pool party is basically the only thing you really need um, for your mayhem levels, just because of that shock puddle whenever you're doing shield damage is insane. You just stand inside of the shock puddle and um, you'll get your shield back. Anyways, uh, we're going to go test it out now, and yeah, I'll meet you guys at Athena's. Alright, so um, I have a black screen, oh here we are, so we're here at Athenus, and yeah, as I do with all my builds, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how the build works, and then I'll go ahead and silence myself while you guys watch me um, take on the first area. So with this build, it's it's really quite easy, um, just before you get into a battle, go ahead and look into the sky and fake burst and how you fake burst is just how you normally cast gamma burst except it's somewhere where it can't be casted so I look over there cast fake burst and it activates all my after action skill and anointments so you just cast fake burst and then run in so um yeah uh, besides that Sandhawk is for 
enemies, like single target enemies and stuff like that, things that I can't kill, things that are, aren't in a group that you can kill the reflux, you just whip out the sandhawk, it'll one shot him, two shot him most of the time. Anyways, um, I'll go ahead and mute myself and show you guys how the build works. Uh, one more thing, if your pet dies, I do cast Gamma Burst just to get him back alive. Besides that, that's the that's the only reason why I use it. Um, you c can change uh, Endurance to uh, this one as well. But you, you're always going to want Empathetic Rage. Anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and silence myself and just I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so that was um, the first area, and I'm not sure if you guys saw, but we did have a little mini boss join us, and I did one hit him with the um, with the yellow cakes here, and yeah, so that is the power of the build against mobs. Um, if they are closer together, like if like they would be in the what is it called, um, the Malawan takedown, they would all just desecrate immediately. See, that was the power of the build. I'll go ahead and take you guys to Trant and let you guys see how he is. And yeah, I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so I'm here at Trant. I'm going to go ahead and grab ammo if I need it. And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on there. So you'll be able to see when you're against Trant, you're going to want to shoot at like a, I call it the golden spot. But uh, you just go ahead and cast and you get to about this far away. And you aim right about there and you shoot. And you can see it just absolutely destroys health bars. So you just after that you just go ahead and grab out your um sandhawk and you shoot his crit. That was one bullet and he died the rest of the way. So yeah, that's about it for the build. Um if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Um if you want the build um on PS4, go ahead and add me. I am my name is Slowbrew, but instead of but instead of an L, it's an I. And yeah, just go ahead and add me. Um, if you guys are interested in more builds by me, I will be uploading some more extremely good Mayhem 10 builds just like this one. Um, yeah, anyways, that's about it. I hope you, had, you guys have a great day. Bye.